Good afternoon from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, where I am about to board a plane to fly to Kathmandu, Nepal. I am very, very excited for that. It's going to be my first time in Nepal. And yeah, I'm just coming from Bali, Indonesia, where I spent a week off, some holiday together with some friends. And now I'm having a two hour layover here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, a country where I have many good memories. Always happy to be back here. But I'm only here for two hours. I need to find gate number C. Looks like I have to take a bus to get there. Hello. I need to go to gate number C23. Uh, two level down over there. Take yeah. the bus. Take a bus. Okay. Terima kasih. Thank you. Oh, always happy meeting Malaysians again. Would nice. Would be nice to eat some Malaysian food now as well. But yeah, just ate on the flight and yeah, only have two hours time here. Okay, see? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, the airport here in Kuala Lumpur is quite large, so it's not my first time driving around different terminals here with, with the bus. Hello. Do you have Tee Tariq? No Tee Tariq? Over there? Over there? Ah, okay, thank you. I'm going to look for Tee Tariq now. Also, I'm trying to find the currency exchange place because uh, I heard that I need US dollar in cash with me to pay for my visa on arrival in uh, Kathmandu. I need 50 US dollar, um, which I have 50 USD on me. I always travel with US dollar on me, but I would like to keep them. Hello. Hi. Can I exchange Thai baht to US dollar? Yes, can you? Yeah. Uh, I need. convert to ringgit first, the ringgit to US dollar. I don't have ringgit, I only have Thai baht. No, no, I mean, I will ah. convert to Malaysia ah. money first, then Malaysia okay. money to uh, US dollar. Okay, can you, can you tell me what I can get for 2,000 Thai baht? 2,000 Thai baht should be almost $60. You get around $49. Not 50? I need 50. If you need 50, you have to add on 2 ringgit Malaysia money. Okay, okay, I have 2 ringgit. Oh. Okay, then I give you 2,000 baht. Plus to ring it. Okay, we do that. Then I have the 50, the 50 US dollar that I need for the visa later. Because yeah, I uh, just found also some ring in my bag from the last time I was in Malaysia. Do you think I can get a Teta Leak for 11 ringgit? Yes. Yeah? Okay. And afterwards, we're getting some Teta Leak. So yeah, I always recommend if you're going to travel for a longer period of time, I always have US dollar in cash with me as well as Euro because these two currencies you can use anywhere in case an ATM is not working or you arrive very late, everything is, or the ATMs are already closed. I had that before as well, actually here in Malaysia, to be honest. $50. $50. Okay. Terima kasih. All right. By the way, guys, I always um, advise do not change money at these currency exchange places because it's a ripoff, basically. So according to the official conversion, 2000 Thai baht would have gotten me almost 60 US dollar. Now I got um, 50 US dollar, but I also added a few ringgit. So um, yeah, you lose money when you use these exchange uh, places, especially at an airport. So usually I always get my cash in new countries out of the ATM. That's what I do. Um, but yeah, keep in mind that some credit cards also charge fees if you go to foreign ATMs. But anyway, let's find some Tee Tariq. Hello. Can I have one Tee Tariq? One Tee Tariq, yeah. Do you add uh, taxes here? Or is this the final price? This one price. It's the final price? Because I only have 9 ringgit? Yeah, I give you, yeah. you change one 10 cent. Oh, I don't need the 10 cent, that's okay. Is it hot? Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Okay, terima kasih. Thank you very much. Alright, there we go. It smells good. Okay, my first proper Tee Tariq. When was I in Malaysia the last time? Last August. So almost uh, almost one year ago. So, uh, cheers. Ah, this is uh, the taste of Malaysia for me. Hello. I like your hat. Is this a Nepali hat? Ah, yeah, okay, okay. Ah. How do you call this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's the name? Tupi. Tupi. 
Topi. 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 Oh. Nepali Topi. Oh. I, I can buy one as well? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Maybe I should buy one of these sets. They look really cool. Yeah, yeah. First time. Oh. Very excited. Very excited, yeah. Kathmandu? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Excited. Very excited. Yeah. My first yeah. time, <laughs> Nepal. Oh. How do I say uh, hello in uh, Namaste? Namaste. Ah, Namaste and thank you? Ah. Danyabad. 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 Ah, the first two words I always need to learn in a new country. Namaste. <laughs> Danyabad. Hello Danyabad. and thank you. Ah, okay, Danyabad. Namaste, Danyabad. Ah, thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Hi. Thank, thank you. you. That's right here, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm sitting seat A1. So, right in the front. All right. So, yeah, the flying time will be, um, I think, four and a half hours, something like that. And yeah, I already had a three hour flight coming from Bali this morning. And um, by the way, I didn't film any videos in Bali. But if you are curious to see what I'm up to when I'm not filming or seeing in real time where I am, feel free to also follow me on Instagram. I usually post uh, daily stories, updates, where I am, what I'm up to, uh, can abroad on Instagram. Nation, our flight to Kamando will take approximately 4 hours and 30 minutes. We are currently cruising at 34,000 feet below sea level. Average speed of uh, 920 km per hour. And uh, currently we're flying at high airspeed. Bye bye. Thank you very much. All right, and four and a half hours later, and we have arrived in Kathmandu, Nepal. I'm very, very happy to be here now. Let's see the temperature. It's definitely uh, cooler here than it is in Malaysia or Bali, where I'm just coming from. All right, the first impression here, you get welcomed by a nice uh, statue here. Yeah, this is a mainly uh, Hindu country. Most of the people here are Hindu. But you also have uh, a lot of Buddhist people here. Nepal, the birthplace of Lord Buddha. So they wanted to see the vaccination certificate, uh, which I haven't used in many, many months, I think. Okay, so we have the immigration over there. Uh, but yeah, I need to get the visa first, which I think I can get on these uh, screens here. Mm. Tourist visa. Okay, so that was easy. You fill out uh, some basic information and choose how many days of visa you want. You can choose between 15, 30, and I think a 90 day option as well. And now I'm going to pay it here. Hello, namaste. Thank you, sir. Now you put the immigration and make a visa. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, very easy. Also, you can see it's not really crowded here. But yeah, I'm not allowed to film here, so see you on the other side. All right, and I am in. 30-day visa, easy, very fast, convenient. Yeah, I'm planning to stay here. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay here the full 30 days, but I think three to four weeks, that's my uh, goal. Uh, I'm getting tired, but I'm also very excited. That uh, keeps me awake now. We have a local time in Bali, where I started at uh, 11 p.m. now. Usually that's past my bedtime already, but um, yeah, let's get my bag, get a taxi, and then it should be like another 30 minutes or so to my hotel. Okay, so you know how it works when I am arriving in a new country. Uh, I don't need a SIM card today, I have an eSIM card already actually, but uh, yeah, I need cash and we need to get a taxi and then I'm actually very excited for my hotel because uh, it is called a palace hotel. That's the description of the hotel on Google Maps. I will show it to you. So we're going to check out this hotel, Hotel Shankar. And yeah, it's in German here now, but Gehobenes Palast Hotel mit Restaurants. If I translate that into English, it means like upscale palace hotel with restaurants. And I never heard the, uh, the term palace hotel before. So when I saw this on Google Maps, I thought, well, wow, this is interesting. Let's book it, let's check it out. All right, I found an ATM. Um, Nepali rupee is the currency here. And I think 130 Nepali rupee equals one US dollar, around that. Okay, that ATM was not working. Tried it with two different credit cards. So let's see if I can find another one, but there are many down there. All right, and I got some cash. 
the notes looking quite large actually similar like the US dollar from the, the color right the color looks similar okay let's find a taxi I want to go to a hotel uh, Shankar hotel Shankar yeah For 10 dollars in Nepali 1200 people. welcome to Nepal ah, Danyabat. how are you Dai? I'm very good Sanse Ununza huh Sanse Ununza Sanse Ununza uh, are you <laughs> fine that mean by again are you fine? Oh, I'm very oh, sorry. Oh, I'm, very, I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> uh, uh. Where are you going, sir? Uh, Hotel Shankar. Okay. You know? You need yes, to see? Yes, yes, yes. You know? Of okay. course, sir. Of course. You're welcome, and Have a sit down, please. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're also driving on the left side of the road here. And... What I wanted to say is, if you are from Nepal watching this, please let me know if this is a fair price. Or if I'm starting the journey in Nepal with a, with a bad price already. But anyway. Oh, you both are coming? I have two drivers? Uh, no, because we are friends. <laughs> You're friends? Yeah, I, I'm a mountain guide, to be honest. Oh, okay. I come to say uh, goodbye my, to my friends oh, okay. from Australia. Okay. And then uh, we know very well. Okay, okay. So I'm going back to the home. Oh, so so you, after, after so drop you, you, you get a free ride now. No, after drop you, we're, our, our home is together. <laughs> no problem. Okay, okay. You're yeah, welcome. <laughs> how many time in Nepal, sir? Oh, my first time. Oh, hardly well, welcome once again, sir. Thank you very much. I'm very I'm happy to, to meet be here. You. Very happy to be you here. You are happy. I'm glad to meet you. Oh, I'm also very happy. Uh, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Done your butt. It's a little bit dark now on the camera, so uh, maybe see you at my hotel. Uh, tomorrow when the food, right. Yeah, tomorrow daylight. Yeah. I'm very uh, curious to see Kathmandu tomorrow exactly. by day. All right, and we have arrived. Okay. We can change. Can I change money in the hotel? Yeah. We'll do. Okay, then let me change the money and then I come back. Okay. Ah, thank you. Okay, I only have thousand notes. Hello, Namaste. First question, can you change the money yeah, for the yeah. taxi? Oh, actually, I 1,000 I can keep and... Yeah, and this one, this one I need... Uh, no, do you have uh, 100? Because I need 200 more. Oh, it looks already like a palace here. Do you know that the description of the hotel on Google Maps is Palace Hotel? Yeah, it is a palace. Oh, it is a palace? Oh, interesting, okay. Okay, 1,200? Yeah, for you. Okay, thank you much. Okay, I have your number. Thank you very much for the first information, the first impressions. Please, thank you. Okay. First impression is coming, last impression. And I would like to tell you one thing. One person of the uh, country, they can keep the uh, image and prestige of the whole country. That's and true. same one person can lose the prestige and image of the whole country. Oh, that's very smart, actually. Okay, thank you very much. Have, have a good night. evening. I expect okay. your message, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, hello, namaste. Um, Alright, so actually, um, the, the, the second guy in the car was a guide, and as soon as I turned off the camera, uh, he asked where I was from. I said from Germany, and he said, Oh, I have good friends in Germany, and that's usually a big red flag for me. And then, yeah, he started to uh, offer me his tours. Anyway, okay, hello, good evening. Uh, sure. Oh, looks impressive here, right? The first impression, the big hall here. It really does look like a palace. That is very nice. Thank you very much. Oh, little welcome drink here. I'm actually very thirsty. I think this is... Oh, I think it's a... Uh, let's try oh, I think it's bright. It is now uh, almost midnight in Bali where I started. By the way, the time difference here is actually quite interesting. Uh, the local time is now... 9.15 and it is um, 11.30 in Bali so the time difference is 2 hours and 15 minutes that's actually interesting because I didn't even know that there is uh, a time zone or there are time zones that have 15 minutes steps you know usually it's like a full hour or half an hour but the difference to uh, Kuala Lumpur or to Bali is 2 hours and 15 minutes you just told me that this palace is 150? Yeah, 150. 150 years old. So it used to be a real palace? Hotel is 50 years old. 50 palace, years old. 100. Ah, okay. And so it used to be a real palace? Yeah. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank Thank you very much. Have a good night. Bye bye. Okay. Um, do I make a oh, first impression? The room looks way, way smaller than it does on the pictures. So very quick tour now, and then yet yeah, tomorrow, when we have daylight, I will show you around the facilities as well because. According to the pictures, it looks quite nice as well on the outside. And yeah, I have a room like this here. And yeah, the pictures on booking.com where I booked the hotel, the room looked way, way bigger. But okay, I don't mind tonight. Uh, yeah, view at the moment, not possible, too dark already. So I have a little chair here. Let's test the bed. Oh, oh the bed is actually very nice, very soft. Oh, I like that proper pillows, four pillows to choose from. Um, we have a little fridge down here. Let's see if there's something inside. Nope. Do I have water? Oh yeah, water is up there. Mm. Water, we have a wardrobe here. Yeah, it looks a little bit like um, all these like old style fitting to the, to the palace theme here. An air condition. And then yeah, also the entrance here, quite nice. Hmm. Actually, I like it. Also a nice painting here. Wow, okay. Let's check out the bathroom, which looks, oh, I like it. That is nice. Mm, so I like it if the, the bathroom has space where you can actually put things, you know. So, hello, hello. Um, okay. Yeah, since it is yeah almost midnight for my inner clock now, I will probably go to bed very soon. So see you tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm trying to find the swimming pool now, which uh, should be somewhere outside, of course. I'm gonna go some swimming and check out the area, the facilities. And now we can see the lobby again with proper daylight. It looks very uh, yeah glamorous here. Majestic, all these uh, pictures here. Hello, namaste. Where can I find the pool? Ah, over there? Yeah. And I can get towels on the pool? Yes, perfect. Thank you very much. Namaste. Alright, then let's check out the pool. And by the way, I moved to a new room this morning. Now I'm having a much bigger room that actually looks like the, the rooms in the pictures when I booked the place. So way more happy now. And wow, this is beautiful here. Check out the garden area. Little palm trees here. And now the entrance to the... Yeah, it really looks like a palace, right? Wow, that is astonishing, right? Wow. Yeah, there's a little uh, book in the room that explains the history about this place. And yeah, this place was built or the building was completed in 1894. And then until 1964, this place used to be the royal palace of the rulers of Nepal. And then in 1964, a man called Mr. Shankar, which is now the name of the hotel, took over this place and converted it into this beautiful hotel here. Hello, Namaste. Namaste. Can I get a towel? So can you please yeah. Yeah. Okay. Order with a Nepali beer. Going to try uh, yeah, the local breweries. Oh, beautiful beer. Is this the best beer in Nepal? Uh, it's just, just uh, in the market. It's a popular one? Yeah. It's the Kids No One. Uh, what is the name? So, Bara. Yeah, you can see the German malt over here. Thermal moves. Ah, okay, okay. And it's brewed at non rising. Okay, okay. In the park. Happy to try. The local so beers. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, I make YouTube videos. Uh, you want to say hello to the YouTube channel? Hello. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. What is your name? Uh, my name is Bisal Golkapa. Bisal? Okay, nice to meet you. Okay, welcome. Yeah, thank nice you very to much. Meet you as well. Do you also have food here? Yeah, we do have food menu as well. Yes. Can okay. I bring it the food menu? Uh, I'll come later. Okay. Maybe in like half an hour. Yeah. And I'll be here. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hopefully you like it. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. My first um, local drink that I'm trying here in Nepal. 
can I approve this beer as a German? Mm, there's a sweet note to it, which I really like actually. Mm, pretty smooth taste. I approve this beer, very nice. And um, actually also this morning I had uh, breakfast included in the stay here. And the, the place where we had the breakfast was really cool because it was like a big hall. The whole place just looks so majestic. Uh, it's really, really a cool atmosphere. Huge uh, variety, different types of food. So also really happy with the breakfast here. All right, let's get some food. There's also a restaurant here, which is actually down here in the basement. The Kailash restaurant. Let's see if I can get my first local meal here. Hello. Can I get uh, food? Please. Yes. Oh, okay. So the restaurant is down here. It looks actually very nice actually here. All the, the paintings here. Is this still original from uh, like 150 years ago? Yeah. So the painting here? Oh, that looks very interesting. Oh, okay. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. I can choose? Yes. yes, okay. Looks like I'm the only one here eating now. I want to try the Nepali Thali set. Yeah. That is very traditional, right? Yeah. Which one? Chicken or mutton? Mm -hmm. Vegetarian? Oh, the chicken one, please. Chicken, okay. Yeah. Chicken Thali. Chicken Thali. Yeah, it's like a set with right. different... So uh, rice. Uh -huh. Lentil, vegetable, curry, oh, okay. and this thing is everything little, little, little. Yeah. Huh. And that's very uh, popular here in Nepal, right? Many people yeah. like to eat it? Yeah, popular this yeah. one. Yeah. Dal Bhati is Nepal uh -huh. uh, food in Nepal. Okay, then one place for me. There's so much detail here on all these uh, artwork here, which is uh, all over the, the room here. That actually looks very, very interesting, right? So there are so many of these here. This looks like a like a horse with many different uh, arms, oh, and also all the the paintings here. Very beautiful. A little uh, bird here, an eye. Can imagine that uh, some of these uh, paintings and these artworks have uh, some re religious meanings. If you know anything about that, uh, please feel free to explain in the comments. I'm happy to learn about it. Is this traditionally like something that people eat in the morning or in the evening, uh, lunch time? During lunch and dinner time. Lunch and dinner? Mostly. Ah, okay. Is there anything I need to know about how to eat it? Uh, usually we eat it by okay. hands. It will hands usually? Yes, usually we eat it by ah, hands. Ah, okay. So. Is there rice under here? Yeah, rice. Let me know. Oh. Ah, okay, okay. All right, the food has arrived. And it looks already quite delicious. And is it usually something that you eat alone or usually you share with uh, other people? During lunch time we eat it with our family. With family? Yes. Mm? Okay, okay. And dinner as well. Ah, okay. So this is uh, chicken? Yes, sir. Chicken, okay. And then this the is lentil soup. Lentil and this soup. This is fish curry. Mm -hmm. And chicken curry and your pickles. Okay, okay. And salad on the side. Okay, it looks really good. Yes, sir. Happy to try it. Thank you very yes, much. Sir. You're welcome, sir. So, uh, what's your YouTube name? Uh, it's Ken Abroad. Uh, Ken, K E N, Ken? and then abroad. Ken abroad. Yes, yeah, sure, sir. Right. Check it out, sir. Oh, thank you very much. You're My first sir. subscriber from yeah, this sure. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Enjoy, sir. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like this. So we're having some rice in the middle, which already fell a little bit uh, down. And then we have here yeah, the chicken here, soups, and uh, he said, I think, different types of curries. This one here is maybe a bit spicy and we have some fresh vegetables here as well. So this does look very good. I think this is the first proper local meal that I'm having here now. Usually you eat with the hands, right? Right. Only with the right? We have a concept. Yeah. The hand eating. Yeah, yeah. Usually first hand was and then we eating. Every day we eating and... Uh -huh. But only with the right hand, not with the left, right? Right. Only right. Yeah. Okay, then it's the same as in <laughs> Sri Lanka and in Malaysia. You need to try? And? There's a wash? Yeah. Okay. And then you try. Okay, let's uh, try the traditional way with the hands, why not? Uh, okay, so there's a bathroom right here. Uh. 
thing is just um, uh, the reason why I didn't really want it to uh, eat with the hands is because operating the camera is always very difficult when you have messy and oily hands. So as a, as a vlogger, it's not that convenient uh, if you have dirty hands, you know, but yeah, come on, I want to have, I want to have the traditional experience now. I have to say, um, in Germany, it's uh, very rude actually to eat with the hands. We never eat with the hands in Germany. So I grew up all my life um, not eating with my hands. Uh, so I'm not 100% used to that uh, yet, but uh, yeah, I learned about eating with the hands, the culture of eating with the hands in Malaysia as well as in Sri Lanka before. But still, it's something that uh, I'm not really used to. So some rice with some curry. First impression, um, the, the spices taste very similar to the spices or the flavors that I uh, was used to in Sri Lanka. Okay, so I started with um, this one here now. Which is like a vegetable mix. Hey, this is a lentil soup. Mm, okay. You with rice, eating the rice. Ah, with the soup? Yeah. Oh, okay. Rice and vegetable. No. This lentil mm -hmm. top on the rice. I can pour the vegetable the, the, top on the I pour yeah, on mix. Yeah. Ah. Mix with eating we are out. Okay. Different I, uh, taste. Different taste. First, you want to try a little uh, lentil and then vegetable and meat also together rice. Ah okay. okay. So <laughs> everything together. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Always good when you have a local who can explain. Um, actually, I'm just realizing because I'm only eating with my right hand, the left hand doesn't even get messy and dirty. So I can still operate the camera. That's actually actually fine. Okay. Yeah, mixing everything here now, the lentils and the rice, some vegetables. This is very good, very delicious. So here we have some chicken. Oh yeah, I love these. Um, yeah, how to describe the spices? Um, I don't really want to compare it to Indian food because I think this is like Nepali food is different. But um, to explain it to someone who knows Indian food and Indian food is known all over the world, I would describe the taste similar to uh, Indian spices, Indian taste. Oh, the chicken is super, super soft and tender. Oh, I love the flavors. Oh, this is amazing. Mm. So this is not fried chicken, actually. This is a uh, fish. Okay, so we have fish here, we have chicken, we have a lot of vegetables, the lentil soup, some greens here that I'm happy to try. Mm. Oh, the flavor reminds me about spinach. Maybe it is spinach. Tastes very fresh. Oh, I love the fresh kicks uh, all over the meal here. Okay, this is my first proper local meal here and I'm already loving it. If you're from Nepal or if you've been here before, let me know all your recommendations. All the food that I have to try here in Nepal in the comment section. I'm happy to try my way all around. Okay, so I finished and yeah, it was very, very delicious. Finished all the rice. Didn't really uh, touch the spicy sauce. I'm very, careful with, I'm very careful with eating spicy. But that was really good. Oh, dessert, sir. oh dessert? Yeah. Oh. What is the name of the dessert? Shikani. Shikani? Shikani, yeah. Oh, and that's something something popular here yogurt. as well? Sorry? Uh, yogurt? Yogurt, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, made by yogurt and it's, uh, you know, that uh, inside it's crossed, uh, uh, crossed uh, almond, crossed uh -huh. cashew nut, oh, and, uh, okay. yeah, with sweets. Oh, thank you. And, uh, oh, looks yogurt. very good. Okay, so that is also uh, something that people cinnamon like powder. to eat here? Yeah, cinnamon powder. Oh, cinnamon. Yeah. Oh, I love cinnamon. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, got a little dessert here. Oh. oh my god. They have a really strong cinnamon flavor and I absolutely love cinnamon. Mm. Like a little cinnamon yogurt. Mm. Alright, that was quite awesome. Huh, I feel very happy now. Whenever you eat something very good, you feel happy, right? All right, and actually check out the staircases here. You have this uh, feeling of being somewhere with a character, you know, like an old building, probably with a lot of history. And I'm almost too tall to uh, stand straight here. Also, you hear the, the sound? Like this typical sound when you're walking in very old buildings. Oh, I like it. 
And yeah, what do I pay here? I'm paying here almost 200 US dollar for three nights. So it's like 65, 70 dollar per night here, including the breakfast. I'm staying here for three nights, my first three nights here in Nepal. Maybe I'm going to extend it. Maybe I'm leaving to another hotel, to another area afterwards. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I am very, very excited uh, to explore Kathmandu and some other areas in the next weeks. So in the next episode, we are going to hit the road here of Kathmandu. If you are new here, if you want to join the journey here in Nepal, feel free to subscribe, say hi in the comment section, and then see you on the next episode. Stay healthy, stay positive. Ciao, guys.